let's take a look at some alternative wound therapies that you may run into in your clinical practice. So when we're talking about therapies, what therapies can be used for extensive or hard to heal wounds? So here's a few that we are gonna to discuss today. So if you take a look at this image, we're gonna talk about each one of these. All look a little bit minimal to invasive here, but these are common treatments that's gonna be used for your patient's plan of care. So let's take a look at this first type of treatment here. This is called vacuum assisted wound care. Many times you're going to see this in your clinical setting, and we call this typically a wound vac, for example. So here's why we do it. There is a vacuum component or a suction component to this treatment. Now I want you to take a look at this image here. If you see here at the bottom, this dressing foam, the black piece, this is kind of an odd concept, but it truly is like a black dense foam. We're gonna take this and cut this to the size of the wound and it'll set inside the wound. So this will set in here kind of like a filter. It'll help pull extra fluid through it and that's gonna go to the pump itself. So we put the dressing foam in the wound then we're gonna seal it with like a thin, um, clear adhesive dressing called the film seal. And all of that will attach to the vacuum pump itself. Just know on the pump, there's various settings that the wound care doctor or the physician may, may order for your patient. So the vacuum pump is gonna provide a suction and help pull all extra fluid. And that's going to go through the pump and into a collection canister. So let's talk about all the advantages of this wound vac. So we kind of talked about this, that it gently pulls fluid from the wound over time. By doing this, it's gonna help remove any extra debris. It also help remove swelling, and that's gonna promote healing for our patients. Now, the really important point of this wound vac is many times we want good, healthy blood, with, which is oxygen rich, going to those tissues so we can heal. So this could help perfusion of the tissue itself. It's also, due to the suction, going to help close that wound and pull in those wound edges. And again, it may help stimulate the growth of new tissue to help that wound close. So let's take a look at some of these live images here. You can see that that dressing foam can be of various sizes. It's also going to just depend on how big, big that wound is. You can see here on one side of the screen how long that dressing foam can be, or the other side of the screen, it looks much smaller, but that wound is actually probably very deep. So also when you look at the screens here, you can see there's that film. There's also the suction device that goes on top and leads to the pump. So these are some great examples of wound vacs or vacuum assisted wound care. Now let's take a look at this piece of equipment, right? This looks pretty cumbersome, like a teleportation device maybe, but this is actually a special chamber that they use. It's going to help increase oxygen to those tissues to help wounds heal faster. Now this is going to be for very complex wounds. This is not gonna be for your everyday wound treatment. So this is gonna be used for really bad gangrenous wounds, diabetic ulcers, really difficult to treat wounds and some infections. So there's a lot of caveats to hyperbaric wound treatment. The patient's gotta be screened appropriately, set up a plan of care for this and monitored really closely by a physician and a team. And lastly, these look much less invasive than some of the other treatments that we've just talked about. So these are compression stockings or bandages. So sometimes compression stockings can come either thigh high or knee high, or sometimes we'll even use wraps. So the reason why these are so important, you get compression from these devices, they're gonna help improve circulation, improve your wound healing, and these for our patients with venous disease and venous wounds. By using these compressions, it's going to reduce swelling and promote better circulation. Thanks for watching.